Today, our focus is on what you should do when you are within the space of where voting is, is done. On election day, on December 7, when you go there, what are the do's and don'ts that are expected from you as the, as the voter and from the state security apparatus that would also be deployed to ensure that the environment is safe and serene for all of us to vote. To discuss this, I've been joined in studio by Joseph Akable, my colleague who's actually been digging and working around a number of these things for us. Joseph, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it's a Let's go through our election nugget for today. So I'm going to read it, then maybe we'll try and discuss to you know, bring out the meaning thereof. It says, during the hours when a poll is open on polling day, a person shall not, within 500 meters of a polling station, seek to influence in whatever manner a person to vote for an, a candidate or to ascertain for which candidate or a voter intends to vote or has voted for. Simply put... Yeah, I mean, this is what we see happening a lot of the time. Yeah. Uh, you see within the voting area, uh, you have people who are there campaigning for candidates. Right. It's actually contrary to law. So they are the booth around the area. They are telling people that, look, to a papa mm -hmm. or vote for this person, mm -hmm. don't vote for that person. Mm -hmm. Again, sometimes they are asking people, who are you going to vote for? Or mm -hmm. trying to find out, mm -hmm. who did you vote for? Yeah. This one says that within 500 meters of the polling area, you are being told that, look, you cannot seek to influence in whatever manner who a person should vote for in terms of a candidate or to seek to ascertain for which candidate a, voting, a voter intends to vote for or has voted for as yeah. well. And so that again comes back to the point you made earlier about how a lot of these things, we are just doing them, mm. but they are contrary to law. So within the voting area, 500 meters, you cannot undertake in such an activity there. More or less, you cannot campaign within a voting area yeah. or 500 meters away from where voting is taking place. You cannot campaign. In fact, we also know that you're not supposed to even be wearing party paraphernalia yeah. in and around an election area. So have this at the back of your mind. If you do see anybody 500 meters to a voting, uh, at a voting area, draw the attention of the police officers who will be deployed there to assist in correcting that error. Also, it goes on to say, during the hours when a poll is open on polling day, a person shall not, within 500 meters of a polling station, sell intoxicating liquor. Simply put, I mean, this one, you know why they are, <laughs> you know why they are saying that. I mean, because, you know, election tensions are high. Yeah. And you don't want people to be intoxicated. Yeah. I mean, in simple terms, alcohol and all yeah. those things that can make you quite intoxicated and sometimes uh, lose your senses and engage in violent conduct, among other yeah. things. So what this is seeking to do is to prevent such transactions from taking place. And so you cannot be seeking to have such products sold at those particular places mm. just to ensure that uh, people are clear in their minds on voting day, they go and vote. And right. so this is a very important uh, piece of law that as well. That need to have at the back of your mind. So, I mean, we are not saying do that, but if you want to get intoxicated before <laughs> you go and vote, do that out of that, uh, what, 500 meter uh, space that has been clearly demarcated by the law before you go there to vote. And then in conclusion, we say that a person who contravenes a provision of this section commits an offense and is liable on a, uh, on a conviction to a fine not exceeding 200 penalty units. In current terms, that's about 2,400 Ghana cities, or to a term of imprisonment not exceeding 12 months or both uh, the fine and the imprisonment. And this actually, to show you that it is actually law, we're picking it from the representation of the People Law 1992 PNDC um, CL284. So you are minded to keep this at the back of your mind if you go out to vote. But what exactly does this say? Trying to influence people or, or... I mean, so this is the punishment basically for the two offenses that we discussed. So the first about the fact that you cannot influence them to vote for someone or seek to find out who they are voting for within 500 meters of the voting area. Then the second one being the issue of selling the call some within 500 meters of a polling station. And so if you commit any of these two offenses and you are taken to court and found guilty, either you will be imposed with a fine of 2,400 cities on its own or you may get a term of imprisonment not exceeding 12 months, or there's the possibility that they can give you the 12 months and you also be asked to pay the fine of 2,400 cities well, there. Clear. The law is very clear. This one, you don't need Supreme Court interpretation for it technically. You just need to understand that don't drink, or if you want to drink or sell alcohol or any other liquor within a specific catchment area, don't do that. Also, we've seen it. Even in recent by-elections we covered, there were people who were influencing people 
you go and vote, they want to see who you voted for, and then they exchange for cash. All of that are wrong. Unfortunately, we flout them with, with, with impunity. Uh, we here at your election command center, as part of the build-up and public education and awareness creation, we are telling you that there are laws backing all of these things, and be mindful when you go to the, to the polling station to vote that you do not fall foul of any of these.